Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. So a lot of people know about my end and how it's covered in glass, right? But something you might not know is I made a video last week, and then in the middle of that video, I was just coming back from one of the end islands, and for some reason, out of nowhere, a ender dragon spawned. I didn't resummon the dragon, it she just kind of came out of nowhere, and then she did a lot of damage to my glass covered end. We're talking thousands of glass blocks destroyed, and uh, although it sucked, I figured, you know what, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll spawn the dragon in one more time, and then we'll kind of call it a day. But I realized after that, like, you know what, why fight the dragon just one more time? If I have all of the ingredients I need, because I have plenty of gas tears, I have more back home. Uh, if I have all the gas tears I need, if I have all the uh, blaze powder I need, if I have so much glass anyway, which is the biggest ingredient in uh, making those, why don't I just go ahead and, uh, you know, kill the dragon a couple more times, get some more end portals. So today's stream is going to be fixing the, the damage the dragon's done, but if the dragon's done so much damage anyway, why not let the dragon do more? So yeah, that's why the title seems a bit counterintuitive, probably. We're going to let the end be broken before we replace it, because to me that seems to make sense. Also, I can't find a crafting table here. I genuinely might not have- okay, there we go. We, we, we're good. <laughs> I was worried we wouldn't have one in the end. But yeah, good to see you everyone, by the way. Thank you for the South African uh, rand. And also, let's make some IF Ender. I think that's part of the recipe. And then use IF Enders and this. And boom, we can make some end crystals. Uh, we can easily go back and get some more end Ender piles if need be. If we want to do it more than twice, I just imagine like twice is going to be more than enough. Like uh, fighting the dragon isn't a particularly fun thing. And it's not going to be hard or anything. It's just going to be a whole thing. Also, uh, we can take our second Ender. Oh, the dragon, the dragon egg just spawns by default. Here's a handy benefit of having a glass covered end. You can take your dragon egg extra easy. Also, we should probably be careful about this, right? I want to say the dragon's going to destroy this. But I don't know for sure. You know, we'll pick it up just in case. Like, okay, here comes all the bookshelves. Actually, bookshelves aren't worth picking up. Uh, we'll use this as a test. As to, like, will the dragon destroy the bookshelves? I imagine so. Wait, chat. We can, we can do a live guess. Do you think the dragon will destroy these bookshelves or not? What do you think? Uh, also, will this be a good stream? <laughs> Man, like, that's that's like 90% of the benefits of bees coming to Minecraft is that we get to make bee jokes now. Like, I mean, there are other benefits too. Yes, 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 no. See, it's about 50-50, yes, no. Uh, so you're about to get validated or invalidated. But yeah, it hurts seeing these explosions happen, like knowing that a few of my glass blocks can be destroyed alongside them. But again, what must be done must be done. In fact, wait, let's, let's go destroy them right now. Like, um... I've got the crossbow anyway, right? Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh god, I went way over that time. Okay, let's, let's do this. I am just awful at these. <laughs> you know, I should have brought more arrows. But I'm not good at these shots. Yeah, every single one of these. I am just not nailing these shots today, apparently. Um, yeah, I, what is wrong with my crossbow aim today? Chat, am I, chat, did I do that horribly wrong? Or, like, <laughs> I swear, I was like, every one of those should have hit in my head. Obviously, I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna say that Minecraft's wrong, because that's a silly... Uh, attitude to have, right? It's probably that I'm flying and the, the momentum is affecting it, but like, for some reason, <laughs> the, the arrows are just like, they're not, they're not working today. Am I, am I literally going insane? What, what is, what is wrong here? <laughs> so yeah, the dragon's gonna do a lot of damage to all my stuff, and in the meantime, okay, you know, one last one. We got, the, we, <laughs> how about we do this in person? How about we do this the good old fashioned way? Okay, there we go, we got this, we got this. We just gotta go really slow and like directly towards it. That way the momentum can't be messed up. I would not be shooting while I'm flying. Oh, shooting and flying is against the rules now. Uh, as someone who has never lived in America and therefore has absolutely no idea. I'm gonna have to use uh, barrels as my safety block, by the way, but from here we should be good to just destroy them. Uh, we got blast protection on the armor anyway, but it's always safe to have something directly in the way. Oh gosh, that was not safe at all. Yeah, how about we, instead, why don't we just use the crossbow from up close? That that actually seems like a way better idea. Like, let's, um, okay, so let's draw back all the way. Let's shoot as we go in close. Okay. <laughs> so place a barrel out this way, and then we can shoot way safer, I think. Yeah, we're, we're messing this up. It's been, it's been some time. I haven't done this with a crossbow in a while. But, uh, yeah, the dragon fight. Isn't it fun? Uh, I, I basically don't have to care about most of the dragon's hits. So we... Yeah, okay. Let's let's do this. We got this. Is there something wrong with... Okay, now that was, that was my arrow. Am I insane? Or, like, is the hitbox really strange today? Or is it literally just my anger? Hey, this bad! How you doing? Do I have the... Uh, I do have the thing equipped. By the way, thank you very much. Hey, Toka, how you doing? Good to see you again, Silica. It has been some time. Um... 
for the answer to your question as to how am I doing today? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. It's uh, it's been a while, right? Since uh, it's been a while since the last stream I saw you in. But uh, I've I've been doing pretty good since then. Been having a like things have been going really good on the YouTube end. Things have been going uh, okay on the personal end. Been uh, I I feel like life has been progressing in a forwards direction, which is always the correct direction. Right? I mean, if I had to pick forwards or backwards, I don't know about you guys, but I pick forwards. Also, the bookshelves haven't been destroyed yet, so there goes your theories. Oh, I've got a plan. I'm gonna let the dragon hit me into the air because it's cheaper than wasting a plan. This is. One of the stupidest decisions I'm about to make, but I think it actually is smart. Let the dragon hit me, and then do a 180, and then fly. Uh, I wanna wanna test this one out. Uh, shields don't fully block explosions, though, as best I understand. If you just start attacking the dragon. No, actually, I wanna do this. I wanna test my point. So I'm gonna turn down the volume, because I hate the dragon is on a whole different volume level than the rest of Minecraft. Like, you have, uh, every, every YouTuber has like a sound balance, the dragon ruins the sound balance, and it's annoying for everyone involved. It's the same with Minecraft music, like, the game isn't very w Okay, come hit me. Okay, this is the one time she chooses not to fly up and hit me. Well, there goes my genius strategy, I guess. So let's instead just fly around, and we'll get to, like, nearby towers rather than the actual towers. So, like, for this one, it's ways you hit to hit from down here. We just line it up, and boom. And yeah, I think we've got- we've done all the towers now. Besides this one in the little cage, and this one up top here. So up top here, easy. Uh, that one over there, not so easy, but again, it's a direct line of sight, so eventually we should get this done. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some more arrows after this. I thought 40 arrows would be plenty, because crossbows are usually super accurate, but I mean, when you're flying, a lot of the accuracy goes out the window, apparently. That's a lesson I've learned today. And then this one over here, we'll just kind of- I also forgot to bring blocks with me besides glass. Actually, let's use glass. I feel like it's a perfect, like, ironic almost, uh, block to use for this particular challenge. So let's- let's break the glass. Let's hope the dragon doesn't fly at me right now. Okay, we're good. Let's try, let's go a few more blocks this way. And then- there we go. Boom. So let's kill the dragon. Uh, I- honestly, it's been a while since I killed the dragon, so I was a little bit, uh, I'm always super on edge because the also, there goes the, uh, the bookshelves. I'm always uh, super on edge about the dragon because stuff like that can just happen. Like you, you don't pay attention for a second and everything's not okay anymore, you know? Wanna know why he's doing this? Because yes. Hey, exactly. Popping in to say hi, don't let too much glass break. So the cool news is, is I placed 55,000 blocks of glass, right? That's the number we worked out. But the good news is about 45,000 of that, something like 40,000, like an absurd amount of that isn't breakable. Because it's outside, uh, like the the dragon never goes underneath the end, for example. Uh, so that may, that way we know we're pretty safe regardless of anything else. Also, just stop it. I've got a dragon to kill. I'm really not concerned with you right now. Um, you know, end endermen are just the worst. Hello from work. Hey, good to see you, Madsoner from your workplace. <laughs> I mean, concerning for your workplace to see you here. But good on the front that, like, uh, hope you're having a good day. I mean, I guess it's a good day. Imagine something. if creepers hey. could spawn in the end. The most annoying thing to deal with in an end project. Okay, so I'm having serious, um, stream issues all of a sudden. Oh, man. Um, so first of all, thank you so much, Rage Mage. Uh, creepers in the end is such a wacky, but, okay, I need, like, this is just, this is just not looking good. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because of this stream thing. This is not a good time to have stream issues. Why do you do this to me? Uh, internet gods. Yeah, no, my internet just sucks these days, and it's like, there's not much you can do on the internet about that. Um, sorry, sorry if everything's been going crazy, uh, on the stream. I, uh, oh, this, uh, I honestly have been, like, so off it from streaming, because one, like, technical issue can ruin everything about, like, um, it's funny, I guess this is true for lots of things, but one technical issue can ruin, um, everything else about stream can be ruined by something entirely unrelated. The, the technical issues of how well it's going. And it's, it's pretty tragic to me that that's just a fact of life, you know, there's almost no escaping it. They're like, some things, if, if the quality ain't there, then, uh, you know, no one, no one cares, I guess. <laughs> and that's been happening today. But anyway, um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people work at like, in places where, like, it's kind of just like, yeah, I spend most of my day 
uh, browsing the Reddit or something. Also, I got almost three levels there, which actually isn't too bad when you think about it. But we're going to immediately just respawn the dragon. Actually, not immediately. We're going to get some arrows. We're going to get some, uh, not ender pearls, but some uh, blaze crystals, whatever they're called. Not blaze crystals. We're going to get some uh, gas crystals, some arrows. And then we're going to do it like two or three times in a row. Because I'm going to get my end destroyed. If, if you're going to get something destroyed, you might as well destroy it right. Also, chat, let me know if the uh, stream is going good in terms of... What just happened there, by the way? Did I just... Did I walk all that distance and then end up in bed? I feel like my mind is, like, collapsing on me sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, you know, is this... Does this make sense or do I not make sense? Did that happen? Like... I, I literally don't know if I went insane or that just happened, by the way. I need to... Sense. I need to watch my own stream back. Did that happen? Because I uh, I genuinely have no clue no, if that really happened I'm or not. Get my if, so I get something destroyed, I tried to go to bed right. also, check and then I the, uh, wait. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna watch this back because this is insane. What happened? Again, it, it breaks my understanding of things. I'm get my but um, if, if you're gonna get something destroyed, yeah, I I tried to sleep in my bed also, check, let me and then the, this uh, huge gap later I ended good. up in the bed. What what even? Is that normal? Has that ever happened to anyone ever before? I, I, what, well, I, I, I'm flawed. <laughs> I guess my world's laggy. I am working on a project that involves a lot of animals right now. And I guess that's lagging up a lot of uh, parts of my world. So now we know. Um, so fix the 3D print of my class. I'm super happy. Hey, Immortal Owl, thank you for the $2 super chat. Uh, are you happy that you fixed it? Or are you happy that you have it fixed, you know? Uh, you know, like, what makes you happy? The fixing process or the process of having something fixed? Um, also, replacing glass, fun times of IVX. Like, yeah, a lot of people actually enjoyed the initial streams, so I thought that was kind of, um, I thought that was unexpected, but a little bit crazy. Uh, I enjoyed it, if nothing else. So, um, yeah, also, thank you so much, uh, Coin Man, for the $5 super chat. Are you going to stream tomorrow as well? Uh, would be a great way to wrap my first week back at college. You started college on the 22nd of August? What is wrong with your your college? What is, like, has something gone horribly wrong? Was there like a, is there a fight? Like, do you live in a part of the world where time isn't the same? The August? Um, my chat was missed while you were checking the thing. Uh, oh, I, I heard the ding go off actually. I was just like, so focused on what was going on there. Uh, college, greater than college. Uh, is a message from Hembasket Fire Alarms. I mean, I think the wackier thing than just someone being in college full stop is the idea that their college is going back this early. Like, I, I literally can't even comprehend that one. Like, why? Why why would it go back this early? I think I probably have arrows in here. No, I don't have arrows in here. I do have some, uh, okay, we can put the iron bars in there though. Uh, so I guess we'll fly over to, actually, I know I have arrows in all my chests. Like, I know I just have too many arrows. So I just have to look for them, like visually speaking. And I know I'll find them eventually. Uh, the bedrock realm isn't working. Please don't let me know about the bedrock realm. Like, it's not... Don't worry, I'll fix it. But now's just not the time. Okay. Yeah, there's there's no arrows here. I guess they are all in different chests. Let's go fly over my main thing, and let's do this. Uh, school has been uh, starting earlier and each year, it feels like. Uh, not Again, maybe where I live, it's different. I do have... There's an entirely different school system where I'm at compared to the rest of the UK. So maybe that's a part of why, even compared to the UK, I feel weird sometimes. But, like, I'm so... You know, in my head, it's like... Okay, some schools go back early September, some go late September, some go really late in August, some... And in America, you get three months instead of six weeks. Okay, there are slight differences there. But when some dude's like, oh yeah, we just go back, you know, how many months is that early? Like, <laughs> we just go back a full month early, because you're not, screw life. Who cares about anything like that? Um, the best part of uni is uh, getting a maintenance loan to spend on Toy Cat Super Chats, says Chloe Booth. I believe in the industry, it's called the Toy Cat Tax. Um, and the, by the industry, I mean uh, random people who super chat me, and I like that term. I mean, like, it's not unlike a tax, except that it is entirely optional. And that, I mean, I guess like taxes, you could argue, keep society going. And does a Toy Cat Tax not keep the Toy Cat going? I mean, arguably not, actually. Like, I'm not going to starve if you don't give me money. Which is, it's, it's funny, because like, that's actually technically a really bad, like, marketing technique. I think about it every time I say it, like, you know what? Being honest with people is probably bad marketing, but like, yeah, you are not won't starve if you don't, uh, you know, super chat me. Also, let's go find the, uh, let's go find the super chat from before. I missed one from, 
Ian Peterson's Schnell, and I also missed one from Anthony Asriel. I'm poor this week, but I hope you're happy today. Oh, it's... I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, you're not. The... I can't afford the toy cat tax. See, as we all know, like, affording the tax or not affording the tax is, uh... That's the cool thing about the toy cat tax, right? It's progressive. It's, um... You actually... Just, if you can't pay it, you don't pay it. Isn't that wonderful? Whereas, uh... You know, like, other taxes... You don't pay them, and uh, you go to prison for a long time, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually know what the penalty for not paying taxes is, because the penalty almost always just includes paying back the taxes that you owe. So it's kind of almost like, yeah, Here's there's a no... question. How long do you think it will take for bees to be in bedrocks? Experimental features option. Oh, um, so I basically... Um, I, I heard that as how long do you think it will take for bees, and I was like... Bees aren't coming, and I was like, oh yeah, bees are real. Like, I I still can't quite get over Hello. that. Like, oh, I, there's, my, there's my own video on the subject. I have so many tabs open for YouTube. I couldn't find the right one. Um, but how long do I think it'll take for bees to come to bedrock is the basic question. I actually do think that 1.4, because 1.14 is coming out very soon. Uh, we expect even next week or the end of this week, something like that. Uh, I'm going to have to download the Android beta and do one of those awful beta while I'm away videos. Look forward to those if you hate terrible videos or like terrible videos. If you like terrible videos, then boy, do I have some great news for you. I've got a channel full of them. But, um, okay, so my plan is to destroy these as they spawn. So, okay, let's let's do this. Because the dragons not can't harass you for, like, some amount of time anyway. So, also, oh, you can't. Okay, that's the, that's the kind of caveat on that one. There goes my genius strategy. So we'll just wait till the dragon spawns, and then we'll take them out. In before bee puns are banned. Bee puns will never be banned. Uh, bee puns will never be banned. <laughs> that is just facts. Uh, oh god, that's dangerous. See, it's, it's going to be much faster this time, because we know flying is messing up our angling. So just, just like this. Stand on one of the towers. You can take out the other ones. Pretty easy. Dragon might come in and hurt you, but odds are it's going to be fine if you have wings. So you just sit here, and you spam your arrows. And so one of them hits the target. Come on, there we go. And yeah, we get. I want to like kind of get this into like a robotic process almost. Let's see how fast we can repeatedly take down the dragon. I reckon that one's actually not done. Do you think we'll see the explosion even if we... If we can't see the crystal, can we still explode it? Or is it just not active actually? I guess that's probably a good question. But yeah, I want to know like... How do these things work? The numbers, what do they mean? If a beast dies, does that make it a bean? <laughs> I mean, the answer is no, but I love the pun anyway, so I'm going to say, you know what, I'll rewrite the English language for you. No, it's actually, the way the English language works is because it is a descriptive language. If we all if we all say, collectively, that a dead bee is a bean, then a dead bee does become a bean. That is, uh, that is, uh, trust me, I'm, uh, I'm someone who reads things on the internet sometimes, so I'm kind of an expert in the, on the subject of bees. Oh yeah, but uh, I think uh, we're going to be seeing a brand new beta soon anyway, and that beta... I, I can't tell you for sure it's going to be including bees, and I, I can't even speculate that it would. But I have to, if I had to guess, and I don't have to, but if I had to guess, I'd be like, yeah, uh, probably going to follow the bees line of thinking, or maybe it's going to be something else entirely. But the reason I think it's not something else entirely is um, because Mega Spud said, or Mega Wife, uh, I, this is something I learned from the community manager. They basically said they've been teasing their wife about it, and they're not usually a community manager exclusively for Java. They're usually like a Minecraft-wide community manager, which is why I think, yeah, uh, bees will be coming to Bedrock very shortly, and that's a thing. Um, someone donate an awesome fix the RAM. Uh, someone... Okay, two things. Two things. Please don't talk about them here, because it just isn't going to be a productive conversation. One is, like, don't spam the lyrics to... What's that song called? Um, Revenge, right? Like, yeah, I get it. It's funny. You, you know, have your fun there. Just not here. You know, have your fun elsewhere. Like, send that, send that to your grandmother on Facebook right now. You know, like, she would be so much more amused by that, or not amused, annoyed by that than me. And second of all is, like, um, the second thing I always recommend is don't talk about the realm here. Because, like, it's not a thing I, you know, it's a thing I can deal with in my own time. Like, it's... <laughs> oh, it's stuff flying. Boom, we're good. Again, pro tip, when the dragon hits you, this is something I learned the hard way. You have to be... You can't fly backwards in Minecraft. Um, you can only glide forwards. Always rotate so that you've got a solid block forwards, and uh, otherwise bad things will happen. Like, the momentum direction you have has to match the way you're going. Um, speaking of bees, there's one in my room right now. I want it to die. So 
Uh, well, here's the thing about... Well, I mean, uh, it's actually uh, Shelly's Monster was the monster, right? Like, you know, I'm, I'm sure your name is Raffles or something like that. But um, with regards to uh, bees and death, I... Can we just say, I hate that it's unpopular to hate bees. Like, I get it. Bees are ecologically important. You know what else is ecologically important? Oh, you know, you know what isn't ecologically important? Humans. But you know what? I love many humans. Uh, you, you probably love at least one human. Uh, you know, actually, you know, human hatred is on the rise, right? Like, uh, when I was young, me being a misanthrope was like the rare opinion. Like, oh, you hate all humans. How wacky and quirky you are. I wish that wasn't still the way. But now it's just like, oh, you hate humans. Yep, like the rest of us. <laughs> but, um, I be ex toy cat. Uh, thank you for that high quality uh, pun right there. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I actually, the only reason I even like put the emphasis on it was like, Jared just sent me a message saying, hey, your name has a pun there. And I was like, you know, my name does have a pun. Huh? In a video like this, it would be a shame to miss it. Also, Mystic Phoenix says bees. Yeah, what, okay. Chat, while we're here anyway, like, it's gonna come up a billion times anyway. Let's talk about bees, shall we? If it's gonna come up, oh, should we get the torches? Okay, there goes the torches. <laughs> I should have put the enchanting table further away from the center, really, shouldn't I? That would have been smart. I can confirm that I uh, exclusively hate humans. <laughs> was it took as Yes. Hey, thank you, Aaron S. Okay, so I need to go kill some Endermen to craft a... Yeah, we need four Ender Pearls. So we just find four Endermen. It shouldn't be too hard because there aren't many places they can spawn. Like, I don't know how this guy got over here. But yeah, let's kill the Endermen. Oh, look, the Endermen. Let's do it. Also, um, I think that said Toy Cat's yes. I could be wrong. Um, the message was... What was the message? Oh, it was, uh, bees are yes, wasps are no. But, like, don't get me wrong. I know, I, I know that bees are ecologically important. And, and, you know, like, humans aren't. But also, can we admit, bees are awful. You don't want them near you. You want them doing plant stuff or whatever. But, like, you know. It's like, I don't know. It, you should be able to say, hey, I think that... You know, what's really important? Uh, money. Or I think that... What is important? Like, actually, guns might be a good example, right? I really... I think guns are important in that, like... They they keep... You know, like... The idea that someone somewhere can threaten someone... Or nukes, right? I think nukes are important in the one-day world. Or... Yeah, actually, that's actually controversial. Let's go back to guns. Like, I want the army to have guns. I don't want... But I also don't want guns anywhere near me. I... Like... Uh, I'm a big, uh, you know, like advocate for not having guns in my face. Uh, I, this is actually quite a controversial opinion, is it? But, you know, I have this crazy opinion where I do not enjoy it when someone points a gun at me. Or even if someone has a gun in my vicinity. I know if you live in the US, like, that's your day-to-day -day life, right? Like, yep, there are, there are going to be guns. Sure, you're used to that. You expect that. But here in the UK, there's a gun and I'm like, oh, man, am I going to die? He, he just has to decide randomly. Like, yeah, actually, I want to kill this guy. I saw this guy's YouTube videos, and he made too many bee puns. Boom, boom, boom. Dead, right? Like, I, I think guns are important, but also I should be able to say I hate guns in the context of get them away from me, you know? I I, I was in London yesterday, just going for a uh, going for a little bit of a walk, and there's two guys from behind, like, brushed past me. They both had assault rifles, like, and they always have their trigger ready, right? Like, man, if, if we'd have just brushed against each other wrong... Boom. I mean, I, again, I'm sure they're trained for that not to be a realistic possibility, but I don't know how they're trained because, you know, I don't have a gun. I, I, uh, you know, uh, again, so I think in the same way, I think guns are important, but also guns are terrifying. Bees are important, but you should be able to hate bees in the context of get away from my picnic, you know? I don't want bees, don't want bees at my picnic, you know? I hate children in the context of get them away from me. Oh, children are a great example. Children are so important. Children literally are the future. But please, get them away from me. Like, I, you know, like, I, lots of people love children. Lots of people are big, big fans of children. Like, I, I don't understand their opinions, but I respect them. Uh, also, free enderpearls. We're going to try and find all the enderpearls around. I didn't realize, I, like, I had so few of them. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to do at least two more. Oh, okay. We have got as many respawns of the dragon as we want, I guess. Wasps are just evil. Yeah, wasps, okay. Wasps are worse than bees, but let's not, let's... Let's not get distracted from the real uh, problem here. I'm a child, but I hate children. Here's the thing, right? Yeah, there's a there's an age where you suddenly understand the world around you exists regardless of whether you... Like, the, the, the one thing I like in a person... Like, there are lots of adults that don't have this too. But people who don't understand that the world around you exists not just for you. 
Also, that is weird. But, uh, I like, I don't know what age you get that as a child, like 12 or something. But until that point, like, again, I, I was flying back at like 10 a.m. from Madrid. And there's just a kid behind me screaming and kicking my seat. And it's just like, could you not? But I can't tell the kid, could you not? Because the kid doesn't understand what could you not means. It was a foreign kid too. Uh, glad to see you making still great content all these years later. I'm enjoying coming back to Minecraft. Keep up the good, it's beautiful. By the way, you had 12 eye offenders in the shulker box near your house. Oh yeah, you're right, the, the red shulker box. We'll go back for that if we want to do more than this number. Because yeah, we're just going to keep on, keeping on, uh, fighting the dragon time and time again. It'll be great. Uh, who saw a video of the glass and was destroyed? It was such a random thing. Like, this, again, I <laughs> I don't know how or why it happened, but it broke my heart. It broke my heart. Um, I hate, like, spoiled five-year-olds. I've always wondered why... Uh, I don't, I've, I've never met a single person who doesn't hate spoiled children. I can't work out why it is, though. Like, um, when I see a child that has really nice things, like, in terms of, like, in relation to me, I guess... I don't know why, but I I want to not be upset by it, but I like a part of me is, and I try and, I try and have to vocalize it because like it's not the child's problem. I'm you know like, I'm never gonna make it the child's problem or even the parents' problem, like whatever. But the chat, do you know why why is it that spoiled children like are upsetting? Because yeah, again, like uh, children again, and I want to say clarify this one more time. Children are important. Uh, without them, we don't. Oh gosh, without them, we don't have uh society or whatever. Like you know, fun fact, I. I hate, you know, this is, uh, this is my secret, but I was once a child, and, uh, but at the same time, they're awful, right? We all agree. I spawn my kids, tiny name, brand things are very cute. I think it's either jealousy or a, uh, a wastefulness thing. I guess I could see wastefulness being a thing. I, I imagine a lot of it's jealousy, like, hiding itself as wastefulness, right? But yeah, I, I think the same thing with bees. Uh, in the same way I feel about children, we're like, hey, you know, we need them, they keep society going. Also... You know, can we put them somewhere else? Do you think Brizzy Bears would be cool in 1.15? Okay, what I want to see Minecraft do is make, take advantage of, oh, uh, is actually, like, properly take advantage of, um, bears, because polar bears just aren't useful. They're objectively bad or, you know, forgettable. I think bees are gonna, okay, I think this about every mob before it comes out. And then, like, how many times have I used a fox in my Let's Play world? I'll give you a clue, it's none. How many times have I used the parrot? Once for a video teaching people how to get parrots. Uh, like, I don't ever use them. I see them and I'm annoyed by them. See, look at this. We got a flight and then reverse and then... There we go. We're golden. So yeah, by the way, in case you're curious as to why we cling the dragon so many times, you might be like, isn't this wasteful? Also, someone just sent a free dollar super chat, but I missed it. I think I missed a lot of super chats. I'm sorry. Fighting the dragon. I'll, I'll actually try to get around, please. Um, my apologies uh, for that. Um, it's something I've been doing a little bit more recently. I try not to miss super chats. I think, generally speaking, the long ones they make a different noise, because I've set it up so that the the noise is actually based on all these sorts of things. I keep one parrot in front of my house, but that's like a decoration, right? It's a mob that exists as like even less than a decoration, I would argue. Okay, we're gonna hope the dragon doesn't come get me. Oh, she's coming off me! Oh man! If I nailed that shot, that'd be great, right? Okay, guess we're just flying back up there. Actually, wait, we'll go for the, the second cage first, because the cages suck. No one likes the cages. Then we break through the iron bars. Oh, this is a really good way to find, farm iron bars. I just realized, like, iron is quite a limited resource. So doing this could be a great way around that limit, maybe? I'm not sure for who that is a great idea. But it is a great idea for someone. <laughs> also, um... Watching this on my TV and my phone at the same time. Thank you for the second view. That is good for... It's probably good for reasons, right? Like ad revenue or something. There's, there's got to be some good benefit for you watching this twice. So thank you very much. Always remember to like your favorite videos twice, friends. <laughs> if you don't know the joke, it's because if you like, if you double like something, it unlikes. Oh, I, th I think the famous line is like, if you, if someone, if you want someone to not... To, well, that, the famous joke, it's very funny. You're all going to laugh is like, ha ha. Dislike your video, then turn your screen upside down and dislike it again. Um, that's how you trick people into liking your videos. You should be able to recycle iron bars to nuggets and ingots. I think you can recycle iron bars to ingots. Also, my brother got mods and shaders on Xbox One. Oh, yeah, because... Um, so the edge features, it used to be for beta users only. I want to say... Oh, now anyone can do it. But, um... Oh, man! I died anyway. Man, the totem is not good for that fight. See, that... 
I, I, I stopped paying attention to read chat for a minute, and I'm wrecked now. I have to go get a Tome of Undying. I, I lost all that experience, like, I, uh, th this is the dragon fight. <laughs> I never have a good time fighting the dragon. I've never been like, you know, what a good fight. I'm glad we did that. It's always just like, yep, I died uh, in a way that didn't feel fun. <laughs> or fa it didn't feel like I messed up. It felt like, oh, I got end ass attack twice in a row in a way I couldn't really avoid. And now I'm now I'm not alive. Um, but uh, that's that's fine. We'll, 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 we'll get around to the super chats. That'll be great. Also, thank you, Rage Mage 117 what made you switch from the stream labs to the the super chat? Again, like I, I, I never like uh, you know I, I I won't mention too much more. Hey there, friend. So where did I die? I actually okay. I guess that's where I probably died because there's an experience there. Nope, that's uh, Enderman. How did the totem not save you? Uh, Endest attacks are just not strong. Like again, just uh, it, it's it sucks. <laughs> Endest attacks suck. They're not good. And I'm gonna get whacked by the dragon as soon as I fly over here which is something I'm quite concerned of. So we're gonna deliberately collect my stuff looking like this. Put the Elytra on first, then the helmet and etc. We have to look backwards. Oh, there you go, so we can avoid this. Thank you. Also, it, hurt, it hurts that she destroyed all that glass just to try and hit me. But whatever, we're good, we're fine. Uh, I'm not actually any of those things. <laughs> okay, so, oh man. Yeah, the dragon, I'm convinced. Like, oh, like, it's not just one attack ever. It's always like, what if we tried and fully killed you? You know, you don't, you don't seem like you're having a bad enough day right now. What you need is this in your life. Okay, boom. Let's kill the dragon. Let's get this. Done. Um, how many subtrust pickaxes have you used since you started the stream? Uh, none. Right. So uh, usually when I do these mining streams, I do go for a lot of pickaxes, but today it's a placing project, so it's gonna be a lot of glass I use. Uh, oh, and I'm missing some items, by the way. I don't know why I'm missing, but my inventory is far too empty. Some iron bars, okay. Some glass, yep. Seems right to me. See, look at that. That, that's not fair. You shouldn't be able to spook down and end acid at the same time. That's like end acid at the spot where I landed. Like I. I think that's an unfair, unfair thing to do personally. Also, um, use a strength potion. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the dragon's immune to potions. And uh, even if you use potions, like, because she's... Her time here is based on the damage you do, not the hits you do necessarily. I don't think it matters how strong your weapon would be. Even in a world where we had diamond swords that were three times as powerful. Yeah, which is strength potions, basically. Um, I don't think it actually makes too much of a difference. That's my personal take. Um, bookshelf's alive. No, the bookshelf's died in the first dragon fight. We're on the third fight now, right, right? I think we're on the third fight. So, Cat, do you worship water sheep? No, no, sir. Uh, thank you for the, thank you for the high quality uh, PewDiePie meme uh, there. Appreciate, appreciate your memeing around there. Um, you should fill bottles with the dragon ass. Hey, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Like, I guess it just doesn't make sense sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. No, stop this. Stop all of this. I need to just, like, fly away. But I can't. Oh, okay. There's, there's my flying away, I guess. Stop it. Ah! <laughs> Everything about the end. I hate I hate the end so much. I don't want to do it <laughs> Get away. Okay, I looked at another Nenvan while avoiding those. Um... Also, um, what are you doing in this stream? I am killing the dragon a couple times. Because, um, so because uh, I have, because I don't want the dragon to spawn in and, like, mess things up, uh, I'm spawning in as many of these. Okay, every time you defeat the end dragon, you get a brand new end game. The only reason to kill the dragon beyond the first time is to get more experience. So, like, just like this, you're gonna get XP. But the bigger reason is because every time you get a new end gateway. So, I had two end gateways before recently, and then I figured, you know what, after we defeat the dragon again, let's get some more end gateways. So, as you can see, we get some XP, which is nice, I guess. Like, it's not, it's not, not nice, right? And then also, we get a brand new end gateway. I don't know where this new one just spawned. Probably over there, if I had to guess. Ooh, look at them, they're just being wrecked. Oh, someone said, yeah, uh, bottles of dragon glass. That actually probably makes some sense. I could do that. I, if I've got the dragon's breath anyway, and I've got so much glass on me, let's make a bunch of potion balls, and let's uh, let's make some dragon's breath, just in case we want that as well. Like, there's no real reason not to. 
So I'll spam into this. Oh, we used it all up. Maybe that's a clever tactic, actually. But yeah, we'll definitely uh, take more advantage of this. Isn't there a limit to end gateways? So my understanding is there isn't necessarily. On console edition, there was a limit to four. I believe on Bedrock, the limit is not so hard and fast. That's my my feeling, my understanding. We'll see if that's right. But yeah, I got two really close to each other now. And they're both pretty useless because of how far out they are. But yeah, we want to get as many of those as we can. So we're just going to use up all of these end things. Fight the dragon over and over again. Go through the pain. It's going to suck. It's going to be crazy. Where's your totem? Uh, it got used up and then instantly killed me anyway. There's, there's almost no point in wasting totems, but just in case it saves my life. I'm going to go get another one. Oh wait, let's not use this. Let's use... Uh, this over here. Can't wait for bedrock ray tracing. Yeah, I'm I'm seriously hyped for that. I think that's one of the one of the cool things coming to bedrock in the near future, right? Like they taking advantage of the fact that the game is super low requirements to have high end requirements options, right? And that sounds counterintuitive, but I, I love the idea that they're finally taking they're like, oh, we have all this spare I don't know what you want to call it, spare capacity, spare like, you know, CPU, GPU, etc. We've got these spare resources that we could use. Why don't we use them, eh? Uh, I, I like that as an attitude, at least. Hi, I'm a new viewer. This is the second video I've watched of yours. Uh, good to see you. We're talking about how, uh, you know, bees are great, the dragon isn't great, and how Bedrock is uh, getting some serious improvements to the dra uh, the uh, sorry the rendering engine this year. I'm thinking dragon because it's called the render dragon, which, again, can we just say, okay, chat, can we all agree, right? Um... Can we all just agree that Render Dragon is the coolest name for, like, a thing, right? Also, that's not in there. It's over here somewhere. Also, uh, do you have any tips to playing with controller? Long-time PC player, but would like to switch, swap to mobile uh, or tiny, or mainly Switch. So, okay, honestly, I wish this wasn't my advice. Don't play Minecraft on your Switch. The truth is, every Switch player I know is just like, yeah, play it somewhere else. <laughs> it's funny, if, if you have a mobile device from... 2016 or later, it's going to probably run Minecraft better than your Switch. I wish that wasn't the case. I wish that wasn't a recommendation. But Minecraft Switch is not where you want uh, to play Minecraft. Like, every time I load it up, I'm just like, yeah, no. This, like, I, personally, I, I didn't like it before the performance issues. Now it's got performance issues. It's got bugs. It's like, people do not recommend Minecraft on Switch. What I do recommend if you want Minecraft on the go is grab yourself a phone. Get a Xbox controller. I have one right here. Get yourself a USB cable that goes from... Oh, I've got one of these things around here. Get yourself a cable that goes like this, so like USB-C, or this is micro USB, to, uh, but to USB. Plug one of these into your phone, plug the controller into that. Most phones should have compatibility or something to allow it to see that. And then you can play Xbox on the go. You can also get something probably to do that wirelessly, but like... I love wired controllers, um, as I say of my wireless controller. But uh, I, I like my wire wired controllers. Okay, so I'm gonna go get some Super Chats red while we spawn in the dragon another time. So, uh, by the way, that B video is popping off right now as I'm talking. Uh, F in the chat for our boy Toy Cat. Thank you, Joannes. I saw a baby zombie and a spider. Yeah, on Bedrock, you there's an exclusive where you get spider jockey. I just spotted a huge spider web behind my camera. How is it so tall? How big is this spider web? I don't know how... Like, that's such a suspicious coincidence. I saw the spider web as you said spider. I do not like this coincidence. How does it get so big? Okay. I cut it with my hand. I really that makes me feel gross. I'm gonna just rub this on my jeans now. Um, oh, it's still there. What spider was using that? I don't see like I just see one giant spiderweb strand. Um, uh, also, good luck on the stream. Have fun in chat. Thank you, Rage Mage One One Seven. It's always good to see you here. Um, always appreciate the super chats. Also, boy dude says you missed my super chat. Well, I. I didn't miss your super chat saying I missed your super chat. And then he also says, actually, is there another super chat from boy dude? Uh, boy dude. There is not. There's one super chat from boy dude saying you missed my super chat. <laughs> and also thoughts on the fire in the Amazon. So you know what? Uh, the, th the problem with the fire in the Amazon is that it's kind of, like everyone's like this needs more attention. And like I get that Brazil actually does have some genuine issues uh, regarding their rainforest treatment. But I'm not sure if this is necessarily related to that or not. Like uh, you know we don't know the we don't know the facts as to how to actually resolve this. Or like what even the issue is. And that's why I think it doesn't get enough attention. Like everyone's, everyone tries to act like it's a grand media conspiracy to burn down the rainforest. But I think the the truth is it's a really tragic event. But it might be one of those 
I, I again i don't actually know enough to say like so who's to blame how do we fix this what's the issue because i don't think anyone knows like I've, I've looked into it trying to see like so is this is this something to do with like extra exploitation because if so um there's a crazy deal actually that um norway signed with brazil where norway gives brazil a bunch of money to not chop down the rainforest like that, that deal would probably be void if we could find out that it was uh, Brazil doing it, right? Stuff like that I find interesting. Uh, as far as like, is it tragic? Yeah, but I don't get I don't get sad when I see a forest burn down. Like maybe everyone on social media is like, this is one of those things where like, am I, am I a normal human or am I not a normal human? When I see a forest burning, I don't get tragically sad. Like I think, again, there is an ecological, ah, see, this sucks. <laughs> I hate the dragon. There is an ecological disaster happening here. Yeah, sure, okay. That, that much I can understand. You know, I can look at... I can understand that without seeing it directly. But what I don't understand is, like, do you get sad? Like, do you... Like, it's just kind of like, yep, that's... That's 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 how things be right now, right? I, may, maybe I am the crazy one on that one. Um, but I don't get sad at forest burning. I kind of just think, like, yeah, this... Can we... Let's let's work out how... You know, my, my first instinct when I see something bad is, like, okay, let's, how do we fix this? You know, like... As humanity, what are we? What mistake have we made that we need to unmake? Or vice versa? Oh, we, we almost made the same mistake and lost all of our stuff forever. That could have been tragic. Also, thank you very much for the super chat, uh, Kelly Drummond. Iceberg biome instead of a mesa is that rare? Surprisingly, it's not that rare because you know global warming. In the same way, the oh no, please let me break this before we you tip me dragon. Okay, that's all I needed. So that's the last of the towers, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got got this one as well, of course. Uh, and then we're good. Failed my mass GCC. What should I do? Uh, you should, uh... Also, um... Rip Heartless Play Cat. Well, apparently uh, apparently a lot of people do cry when they see a forest. No, I, 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 I honestly, uh... I don't know, like, nature's beautiful. Okay, wait, here's the thing. With humans, like, I feel both sides of the spectrum, right? Like, you, you know, a movie can make you feel great, a movie can make you feel bad. But nature only makes you feel good. I don't feel bad seeing a lack of nature or anything like that. Because, like, where, where, wherever nature goes missing, humans rise up in its place, right? And what humans can make is often beautiful. Um, again, in the case of a forest, probably not. But in the case of a small forest, you shouldn't be sad, right? If if it's like, oh, yeah, there were six trees here and now there's, like, a, a convenience store. It's like, well, that is pretty convenient. Isn't it? Yeah. Dan, you can't send a, a cheap super chat. Uh, I play mutual on that one, not me. Uh, there, there are sites that allow you to send like less super chats, but then they don't shop it. There's, there's a lot of weird like ways around that, but it's basically a good system to minimize the super chats. Because people who don't super chat sometimes say, "Hey, play cat, why do you focus on people who give you money first? And it's kind of just like a hey, if you're most people, who, you, you'll notice with a lot of things like there's a deposit system or some your money system to guarantee like, hey, a lot of people are gonna say a lot of things. This is a great way. Also, Minecraft Out Cave Update is really driving you mad. It's driven me to the point where I have destroyed my own end with Ender Dragons. And if that's not crazy, I don't know. I wanted to ask again about controller. Uh, what you said was don't play on Switch, not controller tips. Oh yeah, you said um, okay. So actual controller tips. Um, mostly, honestly, as make sure you assign your controls. There's a pick block key everyone forgets. Use that. With regards to the sticks, it's just like. Actually, wait, if you're a keyboard mouse player, you can plug a keyboard mouse into a phone. Uh, but as far as using a controller, I use it not because I think it's like, oh yeah, this has got like pro strats written all over it. I mostly just do it because it's like, oh yeah, I, I find this is, generally speaking, um, I find that playing with a, sorry, I, I find that playing with a phone is just generally speaking more comfortable. I don't think it's like, oh yeah, there's, I, I, if you're not good of a controller already, I don't know how to like help the sides like, do some practice runs. Like Minecraft, you don't need to be perfectly skilled at using both sticks at the same time like this. But like, uh, you know, like practice on a controller based game that isn't Minecraft, maybe. I, I really don't know like, as in, all I can say is make sure you assign your buttons correctly. Minecraft by default has the worst controller binds. Like again, whoever whoever designed the controls for my controller control support never played on a controller. Uh, or never played console edition at least. I never killed the Ender Dragon in or Wyvern three years. Modern video tutorial help me. Oh yeah, so um, I'm, I I put out a Twitter poll and it, like 44% of my followers haven't killed the dragon. 
So I want to make a video about the easiest way to kill a dragon, like to always guarantee you're going to do it. The the way that's going to cause you some issues and like the minimum. I think it'd be a fun like tree triage almost or something like that. So yeah, um, I really hate sprint controls. Uh, on controller, you mean? You can set sprint controls up to be a button. It's just most people choose not to. Uh, also, we got a super chat. When Minecraft has bees instead of a cave update. So bear in mind, the theme of the next update is not announced yet. Everyone keeps saying, oh, it's a bee update, not a cave update. There are features in the next update that we can't see yet because they're waiting till Minecraft. Earth. You've got to remember that. Oh, don't come down and get me. You've got to remember that that is. Uh... Oh, let's grab as many of these into Dragon Glass. Oh, so we actually got rid of the. Not only did we get a bunch of uh, bottles, we also got rid of the end acid. So you can kill two birds with one stone. Or feed two birds with one stone if you want to use the Peter Approved version of that one. Oh man, I... Flying and king, hitting the towers is just a pain sometimes. <laughs> I always forget it until I'm doing it and then I'm like, yep. There is a reason we choose not to do it this way. So let's put the dragon glass in here. Oh, I just realized this is at risk. These chests might actually get destroyed. And that is a terrifying thought because that's a lot of end stone. Also, I asked why you want Hermitcraft, says boy dude. Oh, yeah, it's not like it's not a, like it's not like I can be like one day. Actually, I'm going to decide I'm in Hermitcraft. It's for a different platform of the game. It's a whole commitment that I'm not sure what I think about. And also, uh, you have to be invited by, uh, you know, one specific dude, right? So there you go. I Again, I, I you know, like I, it's it's something it's kind of like asking like Toy Cat, why aren't you in the US Marine Corps? And it's like, I don't know what the requirements are, but I imagine... Uh, you know, like, you, you need to... Oh, God, you probably have to focus on those first. And also... Also, with the... Okay, there... Oh, God, no, 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 no! Ah! I hate end acid! It's not even there! It's on the block below! It's... There's no end acid on the block where I was. I literally couldn't even scoop it up. But it's enough to kill you. I... It's... All of my stuff is on top one of those things now. I hate the dragon fight. This is... I am torturing myself for the purpose of doing this, by the way. I'd like you to all know that. I'd like you to know... The, the torture that is playing Minecraft on the internet. But no, well, seriously, this is this is awful. I hate my life. Uh, kill me now. <laughs> um, someone says, oh, this is live. This is, in fact, live. Uh, yeah, I, I, honestly, whenever I die in Minecraft, I have this, like, gut reaction of, like, oh, man, someone's someone's going to use this as justification for why, like, I don't know, like, oh, Toy Cat's really the worst. Uh, like, you know, he claims to give advice, but he died to the dragon at this point. And it's like, yeah, that's that's true. Um, Yossi Yossi, uh, do a collab with RPG, with BFG, where his channel gets deleted. I don't know what that means, Yossi Yossi, but thank you very much for the super chat. I will do that for you. I mean, I don't know what that is, so I can't really... Oh no, some of my stuff might have gone off the... Okay, it didn't go off the edge. It's all up there still. I just need to get up there. Oh man, stop. Stop with your craziness, dragon. It's not appreciated around here. Uh, so yeah, we have to pick up our stuff from a really big radius, but that's fine. By fine, I mean not fine. We're going to make the ladder as we climb it. Oh, if we get... Yeah, we could just get destroyed, can't we? Okay, I'm out of, out of, out of these. Okay, come on, give me my stuff, give me my stuff. What did I just place on the ground? No, 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 come on, no, 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 Oh, I couldn't find the Elytra. I don't think it was with me. Oh, kill me. Kill me now. I guess the game was ready to kill me now, right? <laughs> Is it really worth dying this much? To be fair, I didn't intend to die. I had a Tom of dying. It just so happens that the game doesn't care if you have a Tom of dying in the dragon fight. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Uh, F. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I'm just doing this to get this out of the way before placing all the glass. Because I don't want to later decide, oh, I need more end gateways or I need more dragon, whatever it's called, acid. Oh, kill me. See, if you say kill me, the dragon's like, no. I ignore your requests. Uh, you scum. Okay, so I don't have my Elytra, which is important. It has mending on it. It's like, pretty big deal. So, let's find the beef. Please tell me. Okay, so the beef is still up there. Worst thing to have missing from my inventory at this stage. Oh, I have the crossbow, so I can use this to... 
I can use this to save my life, potentially. Okay, where are you at? Where are you, Elytra? I honestly don't know where my Elytra has gone. Is this meant to be possible? To just... I guess it went on down. Okay, so we're going to have to take a lot of damage. Um, where is the... Oh, stop it. They're like, Dragon, I've got, got, got bigger issues than you right now. Um, yeah, without the Elytra, I, it's hard for me to even find. Like, without an Elytra, finding the Elytra is really quite a challenge. So I guess we fly up again. Keep this out, because of course we're going to do that. Uh, except we could get knocked down at any second. Yeah, what what is what is the issue here? Where is my Elytra? It's got to be in one of these stacks, maybe? Like, oh god, 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 I, I, kill me, just, I hate this, I, I don't want to do this anymore, um, so, you picked it up already, uh, am I insane or did I not see it, I'm pretty sure I didn't see it, it did burn in the end crystal, oh, it is entirely possible it burned in the end crystal, physically itself, um, did it get knocked into the fire, uh, if so, that is a genuine, like, heartbreak moment. Uh, we've got to assume not. But I guess without any other... Like, if we don't have the Elytra, what can we do, right? If you put water under an end crystal, it won't explode. Thank you for the tip. Yeah, because it's an explosion, and explosions don't work underwater. Um, to be honest, I feel like people are too focused on why they aren't getting out of the new update. Yeah, no, I, I, like, I don't understand why people are like, oh, this is the worst. Like, we know the actual update's coming at Minecon Live. This is just like, hey... Here's a thing, right? The, it's it's not that they spent the last two months working on bees. At least I hope that's not what that means. I'm gonna go stand in this just in case. Okay. So let's let's just explode it. Let's just kill myself now. It's you know like there's no when you have so little uh, anyway, you might as well. And that way, we know that either it burned in there, it's not in there, and we can look around. I don't have any more Fs. Have some money. Thank you very much, Kyla. <laughs> Uh, hope you're having a wonderful uh, day. Maybe we'll get cave bees. Honestly, aren't cave bees a thing? That's That sounds like it could be real. Yeah, if the Elytra was there anyway, it would have been gone by now. Uh, we've lost... We've lost whatever Elytra I had. Which is, again, I'm mending and unbreaking. Like, double, double plus good Elytra. Um, I'm going to stay over here. Because if the dragon comes flying at me, I want to be able to tell the dragon no. So you hit the dragon, and then that undoes the whatever was going to happen there. Yeah, not only I've lost my sword, and I've lost I've I've lost far too much for it to be explained away as like my stake. I've lost my elytra. It can't all have ended up in the end thing, but where did it end up otherwise? Where could it have ended up, chat? I literally I don't know. I don't understand. I just feel pain and regret. Okay, so let's. Go over to here. Like without without those stakes, the thing the dragon is gonna be. Without the Elytra, the thing the dragon is gonna be a oh <laughs> the game is not not feeling me today. Um Yeah, the what what where it's just it's just vanished. Oh, here's some glass. Please don't tell me it could have gone off the edge in the same direction. Oh, and I'm dead again. Okay. That was my mistake, that glass place, but that water placement, that. Uh, some experience got over here. How does my sword... Like, that's such a good sword gone missing. And that's that's my Elytra gone missing. I guess when... So, you know, I, I guess, like, what is the risk of doing this? Pretty high, actually. Oh, and this axe is next to broken. I just... And, yeah, we can't heal up. I'm just gonna use my shovel now, I guess. I guess it's better than not attacking the dragon. Uh, who else went to theme parks when they were kids? That's like what a robot would say as a conversation topic. Like, I literally can't imagine something less robotic to say. Hello, fellow humans. Did you go to theme park when younger? Wow, me too. <laughs> I, I, I literally... Uh, that's, that's insane to me. That, that to me indicates that you're not real. And you know what, but why are you not real? What if we're all not real? Yeah, I, I'm gonna die to this, by the way. I, I don't have any healing. Uh, there's no healing nearby either, so I just have to die every time I want it. 
Why are you looking at me? I didn't look at you. I didn't look at you. <laughs> I feel like this is what like being in a prison gang's like, right? Or not being in a prison gang. Where someone would just say you looked at them and then start a fight with you. And it's like looking at someone shouldn't be a fightable offense anyway. Um Yeah, I got some rotten flesh. We'll use that. Rotten flesh is only a little bit of a downgrade from mistakes. Um Flick out, what's your dream update? I think updated level would be awesome. Uh, sometimes I think about just a nice farming update, like, give me 15 crops to farm and I'll be a happy, happy cat. Um, but no, more seriously, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think a cave update would be the actual dream. But I kind of, I beat home on it so much, like, people think it's a meme. But, like, we do genuinely need a cave update. Caves need something new in them, right? We need, we need some form of update towards the caves. Man, stop that, dragon. That's very impolite. Um, good thing I've got the wrong flesh. How many toy cats must be sacrificed? Yeah, I, th I think, given that the, I think the end crystals actually burnt. I lost my Elytra. I lost my sword. I lost a pickaxe. It wasn't a great pickaxe, but like, I lost so much in something that doesn't even make any sense. Like, why did I lose all this stuff? Uh, I, I can't tell you why I lost that stuff. I can say I've got another mending book because I'm so, so lucky. And also like, it got a lot easier in the last update. But like, that that was the Elytra that I got during the live stream. You know the one. You know the live stream. Stop it! I hate it. Now there's so much glass gone. I I just, I, I, this is the worst thing I've, I've ever had to go through. Um, and we can't even get out of the end to like reinforce. And I just have to, I have to go find myself a new sword, some new food, and then come back in here and pick up my stuff. So that's what we'll do. We'll just let the, uh, the dragon kill me. It sucks to do. Yeah, well, actually, we'll let the Endman do it instead. So we'll punch them a few times. Because can't, we, can't, we can't actually, like, uh, on, on Bedrock, you can't attack the dragon with a with a thing. So, we we did. We did. Put stuff in a chest. Actually, you know what? That, that works as a clever idea. What if I didn't leave it on the floor? I put it in a chest. Now, there's some crazy thinking. I do happen to have some barrels lying around. Um... Okay, just spam it all in there. I think the dragon can destroy stuff like this, but I'm hoping at the very least this stuff will drop. There we go. Okay, there, <laughs> there goes me. So let's let's go real quick. Uh, we need to get some food. We need to get a sword. And we need to get an elite trip. Uh, you need to put some obsidian down on the portal. Use beds to blast it. Yeah, no, um, a lot of people love the bed strategy because it's used in speech runs. But the truth is, is like, a sword is just as effective. It's slightly slower, but it uses less beds and has less risk for you. Like, unless you are speed running, the bed strategy isn't essential or even really necessarily a great idea, in my opinion. Um, what we really need is another Sonic Adventure Let's Play. I've considered going back to that for like a Tuesday stream when I was still doing those. Like, maybe at some point we'll come back and do a, a Sonic Adventure Let's Play. I feel like it'd be a fun thing to like, all these years later, go back into. Does this mean we get another four hours fishing stream? The good news is I have a mending book, and even if I didn't, it's really easy to get another mending book by... Like, the breeding villager system is a lot different now. It's easy to farm books if you want to. But still, the the point is true. The point stands uh, that this is a thing. Okay, so, um... We're gonna head back... Where do I have my... Okay, so I've got food in one base. I've got sword in another. And then I've got to get an Elytra from another place. So the Elytra is fine. We just have to kind of sacrifice uh, a lot of the durability off it. But again, that's cool. We've got plenty of Elytras anyway. Like, is there an Elytra in here? There isn't. But there is. Mending or fire aspect or unbreaking or sharpness free with mending. I'll take this one, actually. This is close enough to what I had anyway. Would you buy a wax sculpture of yourself? I cannot say I would, actually. I cannot say a wax sculpture of myself is top of the list of things I would like to put. Actually, no, wait, 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 no, wait. Okay, I'd buy a wax sculpture of me so I could put it in videos. I could do, like, face cam or something. Wait, 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 wouldn't this be genius? Okay, picture this chat. A wax sculpture of me that's, like, webcam height. And then... That way, like, I'll have some lights going across it so you know it's not just a picture of my face. And then we could have something, like, terrible happen to me or something. 
Think about it. It's genius. Uh, oh, someone says the someone tries to bait me into the mistake I made that one time. Uh, your pal Nick, with a G with a second name. That's a good one, Leo. Um, where's this? There's this weird glitch in Bedrock where the cave update gets replaced with bees. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a bunch of steak in here, or cooked beef, if we're being uh, technical. Uh, and now let's go to the end. So these, oh no, I need an elytra too. So, uh, my brother duplicates his diamonds. Honestly, people who duplicate for their own survival worlds literally don't understand, like, Minecraft. It's the same as uh, printing Monopoly money and then pretending you're a millionaire. It's like, you know, like, you could have just said, you didn't, going, there's the, you know, like, it's fine if you want to believe you're a millionaire, but printing the Monopoly money first, just, just why would you, you know? <laughs> like, you might convince someone if they don't look at the, what the money says, sure. But is that what wealth is meant to mean? Is, is money meant to be a thing? I don't know, it's like, um, think of Wax Sculpture for you, would you buy the real you? I mean, it wouldn't be the real me, right? It would be a wax sculpture version of me. But, uh, to answer your question, uh, I would not... I mean, if someone was making a wax sculpture version of me, you know, we'd, we'd start a GoFundMe. And then, yeah, we'd, we'd totally do that. That'd be, that sounds like a great idea. I agree. I agree with everyone in the chat. I just watch your new videos, and now I'm subscribed at Love Your Channel. Hey, thank you, Claudia the Crafter. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Uh, it's funny, because, like, yeah, the... The bees thing is really happy news. This is the opposite of happy news. If only there was a word for the opposite of happy news. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a risk here because a ghast could explode me off. We're going to run along our little obsidian trail right here. Glide down. And here we are back at the uh, nether portal. Okay, we got food this time. We got a new sword. It's going to be fine. No, with the wax sculpture by you. <laughs> You're not... I think the wax sculpture, if it's a perfect copy of me, I think it should buy me. That's that's the easy answer to that question. Can you say good friend to my friend? I, like, I was trying to work out what that was going to be. It took me, like, three seconds, and I was like, is there a second layer of a joke to that? Is that, like, th is anyone going to be like, oh, yeah, what a realistic name. I am a, I'm a, ra I'm a Ray. Like, just, again, ignore the second part of that. I'm a Ray, right? Like, no one's called that. If it was like, at least the Nick and then, you know, I just, I feel like, I feel like you've got to not make up for 10 names here. Unless I'm a Ray is actually a common Islamic name or something and I'm being highly offensive right now. Um, also, where did I put down my, okay, here it is. I found it. Okay, so just not die for a few seconds while I get my armor. Just it all out there. Put this on immediately because I could die otherwise. Easy. Okay. Now we can actually kill the dragon. Sucks that it took so long. So good, 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 good. When you hear end acid, if you're in the inventory, you die. You literally... You literally can just be dead instantly. Ah, uh, like that. Like that. If I was in my inventory, two seconds, it's over. Oh, gosh. And I don't like that that's a feature of Minecraft. <laughs> I don't like that that's a feature at all. Okay, so now we need to... Now we need to break this last one, which is in a cage still. There's actually two more. This is just one of them, technically speaking. Oh, I don't have my pickaxe. I have to. What do I have to break this with? My fist. My fist, it is. What a. Yeah, I lost my pickaxe too. Ah. Who? You know. Also, toy cat, hurry, sing something. Uh, I hear the Minecraft views lower ring tonight. For clickbait thumbnails seem to be the only working salvation. See, that was beautiful. Perfectly off key. Like, uh. Come on, just. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now there's one more. Oh, thank you for the knock, Enderman, actually. And a dragon. It was gonna be a little bit hard for me, but he made my life easier. And that's nice of him. Yeah, what we basically traded in here is I traded in my Elytra. I traded in my sanity, and I traded in... Oh, there's still two more. Okay. I traded in my Elytra and sanity for some iron bars and some end portals. Uh, oh, also, I traded my experience as well. But besides those things, it was perfectly great. 
misgendering the dragon. You know what? Can I just say, murder is a crime like five times worse than misgendering. I mean, actually, wait. Several times worse than five. <laughs> but, and you know what? I think you should have the right. There should be a raw law, right? You know, like, even if you're like, you know, big, uh, you know, advocate for never ever ever misgender a person, an animal, a thing. I think the point should be like, hey, yeah, you know what? These rules don't apply in case of murder. Um, that's my, that's my high quality suggestion. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Hope you, man, just, I want to, I want to just destroy this. Can you not? Okay. As I was saying, I could probably cover it in water and do it that way. Stop! <laughs> does the dragon know? Like, is this actually a coincidence or does the dragon know that this is her last, like, tower? The end dragon's a girl because it lays an egg. How many girls do you know that lay eggs? You know, like, do humans lay eggs if they're female? Checkmate, I think you'll find they don't. Stop attacking me, dragon! Do you not have better things to do? Okay. So my plan now, I'm gonna fly up above it. I'm gonna place the water. Oh god, I almost died from that alone. And now I'm gonna die from one attack from the dragon. Let's just fly away, actually. We're safe if we fly away. Let the hunger take effect. When Minecraft adds bees instead of a cave update. Thank you, sad boy hours. Bye, took out. I'll play some Minecraft. Have a good Minecraft time, Mr. Koi Man. Uh, I once bought a koi fish. I mean, it was actually a dolphin, but it was pretty koi for a fish. Am I right? You like that high quality joke? That's uh, top 10. Top 10, I think you'll find. Oh, because iron bars are a partial block, we can place the water on the iron bar. Oh, please don't, dragon. I just need to... So now that means we should be able to explode this and not die, right? That's the theory. Does the practice match the theory? It does not. I mean, it sort of did. Why did that hurt me, but like only a little bit? Well, and why did it explode the end? The, what happened there? What? <laughs> I don't understand anything anymore. I just understand that I don't, I want this to end. Just wanna, this is my last fight. Look how much glass has been destroyed. Look how messy my end is. Uh, I just want this, I just want this to be over with man. <laughs> I just want the dragon to chill and back away. Ever met a female dragon that lays eggs? Checkmate says epic boss. Ah, you got me right there. Uh, you asked for new ores and got bees. Okay, what if we made a honey ore or a bee ore? What if there's an ore that when you mine it, you get bees? Boom. Cave update, mix of bees. No, I, I, I'm honestly 100% sure that the bees thing is like unrelated to the rest of this update. Not 100%, 99.9%. Because, like, again, they've been working on this for over a month. They've been working on lots of things for a month. It's not like he's the only developer who's got a thing working on. But because this is unrelated to the theme, I think they can show it off. I think, I think, honestly, okay, wait, this is my, this is my level 10 4D chess play guess. I think, honestly, they worked out, like, oh, yeah, the memes that bees add to Minecraft probably make it, like, a good marketing stunt. Because Minecon Live is coming next month, and they want to keep hype for the next update. How to keep people hyped? Well, you say, oh yeah, there's gonna be a big theme and bees. Kind of like how scaffolding and panda, no, uh, cats and pandas were a separate update to 1.14 for Bedrock. It's like, hey, you're not, you're not excited for, you know, village update, you know, villages and pillagers, but what you should be excited for is cats and pandas. They're adorable as heck. Yeah, this is, this is a, uh, this is a dragon fight. Let's just start firing arrows at her, actually. You know what? Yeah, you think you can hurt me, but you can't. Um, bees knees. <laughs> you know, I've always loved the phrase, the bees knees. Not as much as, like, cat's pajamas or dogs. Wait, okay, you know, okay, there's three phrases that mean the same thing. There's the bees knees, there's the cat's pajamas, and there's the dog's bollocks. So I walk out from the first two, like, oh yeah, bees don't have knees, how funny. Cats don't have pajamas, usually unless you're one of those crazy cat ladies. How funny, right? But dogs do have bollocks. Or at least, I guess, half of dogs. Maybe I'm misgendering dogs again. Also, we'll be in nature update with farming and stuff. Again, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure. Whatever the theme of the next update is, bees are unrelated. Like, it could be the nature update, but it wouldn't be related to bees in any way. Yeah. Because if so, you'd want to wait till after the other flowers came out, because bees are going to need to change a lot for that. I got a lot of experience this time. All the way up to level 19. 
Should we do it one more time, actually, chat? <laughs> oh no, I lost. I lost the end crystals in that big explosion. So today we mark the passing of a lot of Toy Cat stuff. But in exchange, the thing that makes it slightly okay is I've got three. No wait, I got. I guess I did a fourth one, didn't I? So I've got those three. I've got that one, and I've got that one. Yeah, they spawn in really weird places, actually. Let's go through this one over here, because it's close to one that I already have. Let's see where it takes me, because it might take me to the same place. I'm actually not sure how that one's going to work. So let's work it out, I guess. Also, did this used to be co coding glass, or oh, whatever? Let's just <laughs> have it go from the same place. So stack, stack, stack go like that, and now because we're high enough up, we can start doing the bedrock trip. Also, um, pop up, bob up, thank you very much for the high quality thing. Uh, someone asked about the cobalt theory. Uh, I made a video a while ago, but in case you haven't watched it, um, they confirmed it was just a editing error, like they, they discolored or by accident. Uh, pretty embarrassing mistake to make, but was sadly just a mistake. So we want to have a block, wait, let's, let's plan this correctly. I think I did that one block too high, low. Okay. So just like this, we have a block there. Now we can swim into the little crack. Through the thing we go. Please don't drop me into nowhere. It's dropped me into nowhere. If it kills me now, I'm not going to be pleased. What am I even standing on? Oh, I guess that must be a previous thing. Yeah, my, my game is... Uh, my game is not happy right now. I have one chunk of render distance. No, wait, one point... One chunk of render distance, then a diagonal chunk. Huh. I guess we'll have to load out of the game and load back in. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I looked in Enderman, apparently. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. I'm scared of being knocked off this, like, one chunk island. One chunk challenge. Yeah, this is just the, uh, the game bugging out, I guess. What do you think of cancel culture? I mean, it's getting ridiculous, right? Also, thank you, JDS866, for the two Canadian dollars super chat. My dog's breath smells like cat food. Did you know dogs eat cat turds? If you have a cat, that's what it actually smells like. It smells like cat food that's been through a cat. And cats have crazy good uh, processing systems. That's why cat piss sells so bad. Pro tip. Um, will this run Java? A guy posts his specs here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, odds are anything with a decent enough CPU from, like, the last five years is going to run Minecraft just A-OK. -okay. The question is whether it runs it well or not is something you can work out yourself. But that's a fun thing. Also, I got paid today, so this is OK. Thank you, Connor Mitchell, for all the $5 super chat. It seems as though your payday lines up with my stream days. Coincidence? Or do I stream on these days? No, I've been doing this for seven years. Yeah, it's been, like, almost seven years since I started streaming. And obviously I miss like three or four Thursdays a year or something. But the fact that I've been streaming the same day a week for so many years is actually kind of crazy uh, to me. Also, yeah, we're loading out the game. We got loading back in, but it's taking, it's taking its time. <laughs> I guess there's a lot to be saved. A lot happened since the last time. What do you think the chance of new Minecraft mention being added? They've said previously, and I guess maybe they're wrong, but they've said so many times like, hey, we want to make sure the existing dimensions are actually good first. Because they feel like there isn't enough in the uh, the Never in the Overworld. Remember when Toy Cat was obsessed with llamas? Oh yeah! There was this thing like, I was insistent the llamas would come and everyone's like, fun joke Toy Cat. And then llamas came and everyone's like, ah. Also, uh, you always aim for a private when you melee attack her, says Maddie. So again, I've got this thing of like, you know what? We should all try and be good people. But when someone is a murderous dragon, you know, I feel like you get to be forgiven for that. Like, if, so, if someone kills me, if someone punches me in the nuts, then kills me. Or kills me, then punches me in the nuts, you know. How is this spider web back? Where is this? There's an invisible spider somewhere in my room. Or I'm slowly going insane. One of the two. I mean, I guess it could. I guess both is possible, actually. Tactical assault. Okay, Minecraft is worth it on Switch. If you like your Minecraft Switch experience, I'm glad. I'm never going to tell anyone who's playing a Minecraft Switch to stop playing it. It's just I've had so many complaints from the Switch community about the game just being broken there. There we go. It's loaded incorrectly. So, oh, it just spawned into a random thing in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Okay, guess that's life. So let's fly into it. 
Oh god, 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 oh god. Done. So as I said, let's fly into it. Hey! Oh, what? Where did I... Where is... It's done the same thing, but in reverse. I don't want to have to... So, chat, this is my one chunk that I live on. I guess the, the end portals are just broken. Because they spawned a dragon once, now they're doing this. We have to load out and then load back in. I'm sorry to do this to you, chat. I'm sorry I'm doing this to you. But it must be done. Uh, can't respawn end dragons be mad if the dragon egg only spawns once. That's actually technically true, right? But you don't need the dragon egg to actually spawn another dragon. Also, felt the need for money at you toy cat as yes. Thank you very much, Akumahana, for the $2 super chat. Really appreciate it. And you can spawn the dragon multiple times, which definitely proves it's not the dragon egg, right? Um, ever going to do different games? Maybe a different channel. I have a second channel for my travel endeavors, and I have a third channel for... I have no idea what that channel is actually for. Um, I feel like that's, that's my, like... If you want to watch me not in Minecraft, I feel like it's better to do that. People are just like, hey, what if it's me but doing a very slightly different game? I'm like, you know what, that's for someone. But also, I feel like it's useful for people to see. Um, I feel like if you really like, if you want to see me do different stuff, maybe you want to see one of my other passions. And that's what the second channel's there for. Um, rather, like, a lot of people are just like, hey, you should like me. You have to like me. You can't just like the things I put out. You have to like me. When I make bad things, you've got to like them. Whereas I kind of see subscribers as like, yeah, your group people, some of you actually like me and I appreciate that beyond thing else. Some of you are just here because like, showed up on your YouTube homepage. Some of you are just here because you kind of like the, my, my, the way I approach Minecraft. I like to, um, I like to make videos for everyone. I obviously focus on the people who like me most. But rather than assuming, hey, aren't people are only allowed to like me. That's the only reason they can be here. It's like, okay, people clearly like my approach, my style of content with Minecraft. If you like my, uh, if you if you like me the person, if you want to learn more about me, hey, I've got a second channel and I've got a third channel and they decrease in quality as the number goes up, right? Um, but yeah, uh, by the way, if you, uh, if you spam like lyrics. I know I know it's a meme, whatever. Have fun with your memes. Like, spam, if you spam lyrics in this chat, you'll be removed. If you want to spam lyrics and you feel like that's your freedom of speech eroding, spam lyrics to your grandmother on Facebook. That is my official advice to one of you. Okay, so now what we've got to do is fix up the end. We went, you know, the end's taken a beating. Let's be real here. There's a lot of glass missing. But today, we're going to make a decent job at trying to fix it. Also, let's see if our, uh, our chest survived, because... I was worried they wouldn't. Nope, yep, they survived. So now we can grab out our single stack of glass. We probably need to go get some more glass if we're being realistic, right? Yeah, I think that I think that probably goes without saying. So let's grab my scaffolding back too, because that just looks kind of messy. And let's start work on fixing the end, chat. Isn't this going to be great fun? Place a few blocks here and there. Poor Ender Dragon. Poor me! The dragon made me lose my Elytra with mending! <laughs> can we just say... Do you think they should add honeycomb blocks at IBX Toy Cat? Um, I don't think they should not add honeycomb blocks. No, yeah, I'm sure they're going to take the bees further. I, I would love to see how uh, that got. Spam rates have dropped to zero. Yeah, no, the thing is, is like, I understand memeing in a chat where you know the streamer's never going to read your messages. But um, I actually I actually read, like, I, I love interacting with chat. The, you know, the 10% of you that actually do want to have a conversation, that's what I'm down with. Um... You know, we uh, there's a lot there's a lot of things that probably that that the, the reason the, the thing is, I read a lot of chat and the goal is being to work out what you know like what the general consensus is or, or just have a conversation with someone who says something interesting like hey uh, also thank you very much for the four dollar nine super chat hi but um, I don't know like why did you replace the glass says someone I'm replacing the glass now because I've I've stopped killing the dragon I've decided it's just not worth the sanity risk to do it anymore. Because these new end gateways aren't even that useful. Oh, actually, that one over there might be useful eventually. But, like, stuff like that would be great. I love your videos. I watched your first video from you about five years ago, but, man, do you confuse me. So, real talk, if you want the behind the baseball kind of take on this one, I think the reality is confusing people 
is actually probably good for business. I think a lot of YouTube channels, it's one dimensional. You kind of know everything that's going on. I think there has to be a layer of mystery, like what is Toy Cat going to do next? Or what is, you know, whatever person you like is going to do next. I think that's actually required for a channel to be successful. Because you shouldn't be wildly predictable. There should be an element of, not aloofness maybe. I, I don't know how to describe it, but there needs to be some amount of confusion or something along those lines. Uh, someone says you totally should read the Bible. Uh, I, I just didn't find it to be particularly interesting, but, um, like, I, I actually tried to read the Bible at one point, but, like, no one ever explains, like, oh, yeah, it's not that it's interesting, it's that it's, like, a bunch of allegories that you can apply to your life. And it's like, oh, yeah, cool. I, I think the Monday version that people get, like, again, it's, I'm not saying it's equivalent, but it's how people get their equivalent in the modern age is, like, I don't know, watch a video about the concepts that define life or whatever else, you know? You should have replaced it with stained glass to show the rebuild. Oh, that's a cool idea. It looks so messy having, like, I want it to look perfect rather than, yeah, I'd, I'd, rather than making it uh, look just like, rather than having like a patchwork of old versus new, I think I'd rather kind of like have it look entirely different. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for the idea, Gintoki uh, Sakata, for the Zealand, and also thank you for the five New Zealand dollars. Do you like Java or Bedrock more? Uh, I prefer Bedrock, but I don't like... I'm not militant about it. There's so many decisions in life where we get crazy militant about like, hey, you like the opposite, you're a bad human being, and I want to grind up your parents and put them in a stew or something. And it's like, hey, why... You know, I have an Android phone. I respect if you have an iOS device. I'm sometimes curious, but I respect it. Um, you know, I play on Xbox if you play on PlayStation. Cool. You know, you're my brethren. Uh, you know, we're all console players in here. And if you're not a console player, we're all, we play games. The same game. Um, a lot of Pocket Edition players follow me. Cool, man. Um, there's, uh, there's this kind of crazy thing where, like, people try to divide themselves all the time. Like, it's almost human behavior to split ourselves up into groups. But sometimes it's just like, do we, is that, is that necessary? Is that, is that helpful? to anyone? Or is this just a part? It, you know, I don't know. It's it's kind of a bad thing. Google phones are superior. Google doesn't even make Android phones. Uh, right? Well, that's just, that's a fact. That is a fact. Uh, they they are the main developers behind Android because uh, they, they bought out whatever the open source version it was there before Android. But um, as I understand it, there's a like, because the Android is open source, there are Chinese phones either, like they use what is effectively Android, but also is entirely unlinked from Google. Is it necessary to divide us? Java versus Bedrock real? <laughs> yeah, I, I... Oh! I... I don't know, man. It's just like... You don't always have to be like... Bad, good, better, etc. Because uh, some people always get like crazy and be like, I can't believe... I liked you, then I learned you played the bad version of the game. It's like, cool, man, I guess. Cool, man. Okay, then let's grab all of our gloss. We have way more lying around somewhere. Probably inside my uh, big thing over here. Let's grab as much glass as we can. Let's do as much fixing as we can today. Mostly off the floor, but then we'll do the rest of it. I feel like it was risky for uh, Mojang to add bees with the endangerment issue going on. Oh yeah, this is the funny thing about... Like, you know how we got this huge lecture about how they added... Um, they couldn't add sharks to the game because... Um, I forget what the reasoning even was, but it was like, oh yeah, because we don't want players to think that it's. A oh, I've used up all of my glass now. Uh, I've got a lot of jungle wood though. But I've used up all of my glass. Oh, that's a problem. That's a real problem. So I guess I've got to smelt a whole bunch of glass, guys. Um, thank you very much for the super chat, uh, Frishy. Will you play your world when PS5 comes out? I'm curious about how PS5 and Bedrock are handled together. I have to imagine your PS4 stuff will transfer over. But who, like, you know, we, we, I, I trusted the 4J guys to do a good job at porting worlds over. I don't know how, you know, Bedrock's gonna handle something like that. I'm very concerned. Because Realms theoretically does it already, but uh, doing so across devices without Realms, I don't know. I, I, I reckon it's gonna be a weird solution 
uh, that technically is a solution while still kind of not being one. Uh, make a super smelter. I basically have like a lame version of a super smelter. I guess, yeah, you're saying just make a super smelt. Make, make that, but with more. I totally should do that, actually. Just have more furnaces in that room. I'm sat with my cat watching Toy Cat, listening to the Minecraft song Cat, because Toy Cat is yes. See, the Minecraft song Cat is actually the best jukebox disc, right? We can all agree on that. Like, you know, Chirp is a very close second. But otherwise, we got some solid songs. How do you think of your survival strategies? Honestly, just while I'm playing survival, I'm like, wouldn't that be cool? And then I think, oh yeah, we'll, we'll start recording. Uh, I know that's a very anticlimactic answer, but it's the truth. Yeah, my end is just wrecked right now. My end is a serious state of disrepair. Hmm. Uh, no, I like Chirp. Like I said, Chirp's a great second. But it's not the king. It's not the king. So we're going to focus on the extremities first. Just be Oh, look at all that. Okay, no, it's fine. Um, we'll focus on the extremities first. And then we'll kind of work our way inwards. It'll be nice. It'll be calm. It'll be fun. And in the meantime, uh, we can talk about... Uh, Chats like this one. Thank you for the one dollar. Make a list of surprisingly renewable resources. Yeah, but the renewable versus non-renewable is definitely one of those interesting, uh, like Minecraft things. I've made videos about renewable before. Most people don't find it interesting. Hey man, 17 minutes ago, got 14 and now spending my work money. Uh, keep up with the. Oh man, I missed it. It's so like uh, the problem is when you type too much. Because uh, I, I, I allowed it to be unlimited on stream apps, but the size doesn't increase. Uh, people type it a lot, and I miss it. So we're going to have to log in real fast, and I'm going to have to rebuild that message. <laughs> remember when you did the Renewable House Challenge? I actually do not remember the Renewable House Challenge. I genuinely do not. Also, thank you, Matrola. Um, 17 minutes ago, got 14. Now spend my work money. Keep up the work, and... Uh, Get a mending villager. Oh yeah, that's that's actually my plan. I'm gonna have to, like, I want to make a village dedicated to, what are they called? Like librarians, I guess. It's a thing I want. It was the thing I was planning on doing anyway, but now I have to do to get mending for my elite shop. I have a mending book lying around, but I want unbreaking as well, because the goal is to make like a bunch of unbreaking books, a bunch of mending books. Like I have to do a lot of stuff, is what I'm saying here. It's gonna be a whole fun thing. Where can I buy your invisible chair? Says Alexander the Great. Uh, the invisible chair is- it's funny because it gets rid of the branding, right? Like- oh, actually, it doesn't. It gets rid of everything but the branding. What would you rather have? Communism or capitalism? I mean, we live in a society, right? Um, no, I- I don't know. Like, whenever I say a question like this, I'm like, I mean, I like the world- you know, there's- there's an inherent bias towards the status quo. It's not necessarily a bad thing. But the status quo is doing a lot of good things for a lot of good people. Uh, it's one of the few systems where as long as you're willing to try very hard. Sometimes you have to try harder than everyone else. But under the current system in a modern developed country, it's cool that anyone can work their way to what they want. Sometimes you have to go for a lot for it. But I've always, I've always admired that. Uh, about what okay, I don't even know if that's capitalism necessarily like it can be under other systems too but I think I think every system needs to not focus on the uh, you know the the elites not focus on the concepts but focus on the people uh, and very few systems do that very well um, that's my that's my actual response like it's complex but you know like we don't have we don't have a capitalist society right now a lot of people think we do like yeah it's the economic model but it's not like, in the same way that like, uh, a country that calls itself communist isn't really. It's kind of like, there's a lot of state involvement within capitalism. Like 40% of almost every country is government controlled. But uh, yeah, so uh, also, that's a problem, I guess. Uh, yeah, the, the, thing, the thing I like is a meritocracy. I, I, I'd agree with that. Like the, the cool part of society is trying to allow people to succeed. I don't, again, I don't think, like, a lot of people say some things like, uh, oh yeah, has to be, if you're good at something, you should succeed. I think you need to be good at something that someone somewhere values. But, uh, that's, that's my preferred system. Like, hey, if you can do good things for someone else, good things should happen to you. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I, I like karma, and I'd like an economic system modeled around karma. That's, that's what I want in the world. 
Um, obviously, no, there's no economic system that does that perfectly. Um, and yeah, that's one of the issues. Uh, also, uh, Hydro Bun says, hey, dad, missed you. Thanks for the videos and streams today. Uh, you're welcome, Hydro Bun and or son, question mark. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, a lot of people are enjoying the B video, which is cool. That's that's what I like to hear in the world. And uh, a lot of people enjoy these more deeper talk videos where we talk about, like, um, how am I not surprised? Cucumbers scare you. All right, because I'm um, called cool Toy Cat. Yeah, watching cucumbers scare cats is one of my favorite, like, reflexes. I don't understand it, but it's 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 beautiful to watch. It's beautiful to watch. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, just now tuning in. Why is he covering the ending glass? Uh, I mean, it was okay. So it was covered in glass before, and then the end dragon spawned, and now it's now it's a bit broken. That's the simple explanation. Uh, how did you get the bees? Uh, are they already added to PS4? So if you watch the videos, it's a snapshot uh, for Java Edition. It's funny because I, I feel like uh, it's really hard to communicate that information easily. But every Minecraft version is different with different updates at different times. And that is just a... That is a fact that is not easily gotten around, sadly. Put the Ender Dragon in a bucket. I think it's sad that you can't put the Ender Dragon in a boat or in a um, anything else. I, I think that'd be cool if that was possible. Uh, but why, though? <laughs> Uh, I think it looks cool, personally. Maybe you disagree, but then you're wrong. No, honestly, it was just like, oh yeah, let's see if we can do it kind of thing. And then kind of escalated into where we are right now. I think there's a lot of glass placement. Yeah, we've got like two more stacks. We're not going to get this finished today. But what I can say we're going to finish today. Besides, thank you so much, by the way, crazy kid, uh 3477 for becoming a member of the channel. It means a lot to me. What if Boat Enderang comes in the next update? Then I'll put the Ender Dragon in a boat, and I'll ride him out to the End Island somewhere. I'd love to see how the dragon would react to that. Do you think your love for Minecraft is somehow related to your love for traveling? Hey, thank you so much, Roy Suti. Suti. Suti? 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 You know, I'll go with Suti. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, do you think loving Minecraft and loving traveling are related? Yeah, I love that Minecraft is infinite. I love that you can experience new things all the time. Uh, uh, you know, like, I, I think the way my real life is structured isn't actually that far away from how my Minecraft life is structured. Um, which is kind of cool. I don't know if they're necessarily linked or if it's just similar things. Like, I, I love the exploration factor in Minecraft. Um, but yeah, I think, honestly, I, I think, I, I tried to work out recently, why do I enjoy traveling? It's got to be soci societally based. Like, what I think I love, or what I do love, as far as I am concerned, is I love seeing the way that life is. I, I, okay, you know, what? I find it fascinating that life is so different, even within the same country, but like we have a lot of shared things. When you go elsewhere, we're all humans, but we sometimes have wildly different lifestyles. Like the foods we eat are different, and the average day is different, and the values are different. The, the you know, like it's, it's like the thing I said earlier, we're like, oh yeah, it's kind of just accepted that you, can eventually succeed. Also, thank you for Stampy Longbow. But, um, I'm out of class, by the way. It's kind of accepted that at some point you're going to be able to, uh, I know there are countries where just like, oh yeah, there is no, no future expected or given or something like that. And that's terrifying to me, but might be the norm there. Or like, yeah, th there's weird examples of like how societies are structured different. When you go to the US, it fe it's such a different feeling country to, a European feeling country. When you go to Asia, the value system, like the, the number of people changes everything. Uh, and I, I love knowing the difference between how my life is and how like the equivalent version of me who grew up in another country would live. But uh, yeah, I, I think what it actually is is like travel's just cool and that works its way into people's brains or something. Also, uh, I'm gonna kill the Enderman and then torch up. Yeah, it's, it's sad because I need so many thousands of blocks now. Like, I think actually during the course of this stream, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we did more damage to the end than we fixed. So we need to come back for... Actually, let's do like a flyover. Yeah, I'll be kind of careful on this one. Let me show you the end and how much we got left to do. Today's stream has been a lot of fun. Thank you, Crazy Kid, by the way, for the $5 super chat. But uh, yeah, today's stream has been a lot of fun. We did a decent amount of work in a decent amount of places, but I'm gonna need a lot of sand to make, a lot of glass, I should say, 
if I intend to, uh, you know, fix this. So if you want to see the rest of this being fixed, it'll probably be three or four Leps episodes from now, or maybe a future stream. But yeah, stay subscribed to the channel if you want to see the end being fixed. Maybe we should get some, like, different colors for the top of the thing, or, like, get some gray to surround the end portal with. Uh, I think that could be kind of fun. We'll work on that in the future. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed the live stream. Um, go check out my bees video, because apparently... During just the course of this stream, 150,000 people watched that video. And like, um, that's like mind-boggling to me. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Don't give it a like if you didn't like it. And uh, I don't know. Send me a Twitter message if you've got a thing you want to say. And yeah, I'll go fix the realm now. It's all good. Have a nice day, everyone. I've got a big task in front of me. So I'll see you in, in the next Let's Play episode. It's going to be related to Glass. It'll be out on Monday. And oh yeah, I'm, I, I might stream sometime in the next few days, but otherwise I'm gone next Thursday. So I'll be streaming two Thursdays from now rather than next Thursday. Uh, unless there's a Bedrock Beta, which is absolutely on Thursday, but we'll work it out. And so can you. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. So bad at outros. So bad at outros.